New York, New York, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from LYNews.com, like always, a local mustache. Good afternoon. Let's grade the Yankees' 10 last games. My previous video, I titled it something like, Are the Yankees getting their mojo back, even though they were playing the Twins? But it was a good series to, let's say, boost their morale, confidence, and gain momentum. And... You know, they face the Red Sox, but the Red Sox always bring it once the uh, Yankees are in town. So you could consider that series somewhat of a challenge, even though the Red Sox defense sucks. Even though J.D. Martinez needed shoes to match, he needed clown shoes. If he were wearing those types of shoes, he would have been called safe in that play that we saw last night. <laughs> By the way, that guy's washed. J.D. Martinez looking like the Wish version of himself. Let's call him J.D. Gonzalez or something like that. The Yankees took two games out of three versus the Rays. Swept the Red Sox. Now they're going over there to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's a throwback, by the way. If you saw the Yankees in the 90s, the Brewers were a... American League team. I was kind of sad, by the way, when they moved to the National League because it was always interesting watching the Yankees on TV, Brewers having all those mascots. It, it was just a, I don't know, it was just like a movie-type feel every time the Yankees faced the Brewers, especially over there in Milwaukee. And I know there were American League team for years before that, but I'm saying growing up, obviously, as a kid, uh, growing up in the 90s, I remember that. So what do we expect? I expect the Yankees to continue to roll on. Glaber Torres is catching fire. He has discovered the opposite field magic. You got Clark Schmidt coming out the pen com being completely nasty. You got the bullpen literally picking things up. That's been the difference in these last 10 games where the Yankees have won 8 out of 2. There was a period recently that me and the NY News TV guys thought that the Yankees weren't even going to make the playoffs. We even have an event October 11th now in the Bronx, by the way. It's going to be lit. If you haven't copped your tickets, visit nynews.com slash tickets or nynewstv.eventbrite.com. We will love to see you over there. Hang out. You could do basically anything you want in that venue. So it's going to be a good time watching Yankees playoff baseball. So, yes, a couple of weeks ago or a week ago, we were contemplating, wow, are the Yankees going to completely melt down? Is this event even going to happen? But luckily for everybody, luckily for the Yankees, they're looking good right now. Six-game lead. I expect the Yankees to at least sweep the Brewers or take two games out of three. First game, we got Montas starting things off. Second game, Tyon. Third game, Garrett Cole. These are pitchers in the Yankees rotation with a lot to prove. I say that because we're close to playoff baseball. And you know, these names that I just mentioned haven't been consistent. And the Brewers, they are, I'll say... They are an all right team. They're not bad. They're, they're more on the good side. So if you could go out there to Milwaukee, sweep the Brewers, or at least take the series, or at least have your starting uh, rotation show up, it will be a good confidence booster, not only to them, but to Yankees fans and the Yankees front office. By then, they'll be coasting with, let's say, maybe – an eight-game lead in the AL East. Let's not forget to mention Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge chasing Roger Maris. Many believe that that record is the official home run record. By this point, he's going to break it with ease. By the way, Yankees, show, show Aaron Judge the money. He's an all-time Yankee great in the making. He'll be chasing history all of his career. And, you know, that's money in your pocket, ratings, uh, seats being filled up. You just have to do it. 
And let's give this as an example. Let's say Aaron Judge later on in his career gets injury prone, gets hurt a lot, but it's the thought that counts. It's a move you had to make. It's a move that the Yankees fan base will appreciate. And it's a move to show them that, hey, we're going to spend the money. We're going to re-sign a player that you guys all love. And the Yankees fan base will appreciate you guys for that. Because you really need to fix your reputation. You can't be the owner of the New York Yankees like Hal Steinbrenner and get booed all the time. And Brian Cashman, same goes to him as well. Again, what I've seen from the Yankees these last 10 games is a team that is waking up, that is catching momentum, that is having their confidence boosted. I think if the Yankees continue to win series, you got a whole bunch of guys coming back from the I.L. They're going to be coasting and they're going to be a great threat come playoff time. So before we get too excited... The three names that I mentioned, Montas, Tyon, and Cole, they need to show up and they need to pitch gems. If they do, like I said, great confidence booster. We're almost near the finish line and easy peasy. The Yankees have pretty much an easy schedule after Milwaukee, but you have to look out. They have a four-game series versus the Red Sox and then a three-game series versus the Blue Jays. So those teams are going to bring it. Even if they're not in contention, I know the Blue Jays are, but even though the Red Sox are completely dead, they will try to stick it to the Yankees. So Yankees fans, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the resurgence of the New York Yankees? Have they resurged? Let's not get too excited here, but I want to hear you guys' opinions. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Oh, New York Yankees fans, it is Felix from NYNews.com. And I am coming on to remind you guys that NY News TV, the sequel, is happening October 11th. In the Bronx. Baby, a big old venue. All inclusive. Food, drinks, all you can eat. Get drunk. Hey, if you're looking for love, go out there and, you know, find a woman. Or if you're a woman, find a man and match up. Because that's what we do. We bring people together. And this is what we're doing again, October 11th. You know, Pete Seminetti, my boy, the OG. Me and him, creators of MLY News. Pete Seminetti, the boss of MLY News TV. See how that works? It's like Apple, Apple TV. Anyways, I want to see you guys there. Because the first event was classic. We had, what, over, over 200 people show up to that one? This is going to be even better. Well, like I said, a big venue. All-inclusive drinks. All inclusive food. We're going to see the Yankees take on whoever they take on from playoffs. It's just going to be an amazing night. The tickets are on sale now. Go to nyyu.com slash tickets. You'll get to meet me if you haven't already. You didn't go to the other event. You'll get to meet Pete. You'll, you'll get to meet Francis. You'll get to meet the NYYST guy. You'll get to uh, meet Luca, uh, Alex, uh, Joe G, RB, everybody, everybody that works for NYY TV. Just check us out there. NYY News TV, the YouTube channel, started off in January. Already almost 11 thousand subscribers look 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 when we reach like a hundred we're gonna be conceited we're not gonna have the opportunity to talk to us i can just be real take advantage now come show with us it's going to be a great fun time before it hits the